What's up guys, welcome back. So if you guys remember the last video, I will post it in the description just in case you didn't see it or in case you're new here. We are working on the limo, a chop and drop of a factory bike that you can buy on Amazon, eBay, wherever. But you can buy one of these and then you can add the lower section center bar and make it your own other than what it is. So this episode, I'm hoping that we're gonna get a fender on it. We're also gonna get it all put into a roller, get the fork on, front wheel on, and get a tank going in. Uh, the tank's gonna be uh, cool. I'm thinking like doing maybe an aluminum dimple die with some brass because the color that I have that I wanna do for it should look pretty cool with some brass. So pretty excited, frame came out really good. Everything's TIG welded, which I'm super happy with. I even got it TIGged up there. So looks really good. We do need to add a center support here just to pull it out a little bit more. Also to have another place to put the fender. Other than that, good to go. Let's quit rambling and get started. fender that I want to go with. I did get this fender for free and we're probably going to order another one. This one's pretty banged up just from shipping and some of the welding that was done to it. So I'm probably going to do, but I don't want this lip up here. So we're going to cut it off so that it looks like the bottom. Uh, that's, I want to practice on this one before I order another one just to make sure that it comes out correctly. We'll have to tape off that area so that I can get it cut off. Um, I think it's just going to give it a better look than the helmet wrap. So I think one thing I want to do is I, I want the fender more outward. I don't want it so far away from the tire. I like mine kind of tucked in real close like that. But if I put it here, you can see how much room there is. Maybe you can, I don't know. But I'm gonna nut cert this here. Put a nut cert in there. Make another center tube now. Put a nut cert in that so that it can bolt to the bottom. And then we'll probably just add some spacers as we need to make some aluminum spacers. Uh, or put something on the, maybe even weld something to here so that it has a spacer that I don't have to worry about losing. But I think that'll work. Let's go make us some one inch uh, bottom support. So I think we're actually gonna use some seven eights. I think that'll be a little bit skinnier and it won't look so bulky down there. And I have a full stick of it so I can get a really good turn. Let's go roll it or bend our roller over here. I'm too lazy and I don't want to switch out the dies. These got some uh, one and a half inch dies in here. I don't have seven eighths dies anyway, so I'm just going to put it in here and just be really careful with how I'm bending it. Uh, this is going to bend rather easy because of uh, it being such a smaller tube. So I'm just going to have to be real careful how I bend it. So we'll just get it as centered as I can. We'll, we'll bend it real slow. See it bends, it's going to turn so easy. Let's just keep it straight. Hey guys, I am so sorry for the interruption, but if you could, could you click that subscribe button for me? Also, turn on your bell notifications. That way you catch all the content as I post it. And if you wanna check out anything early, head over to my Instagram. I post things there probably quicker than you're gonna see them here. Thanks guys. Quick idea for this is just to cut these at an angle here and here. And then what that's gonna allow me to do is tube notch these both on one inch. Now one thing with squeezing this into a uh, one and a half inch die and bending it and rolling it, it actually flattens it into an oval, which I'm okay with because I need to run nut cert in there anyway. And if it gives me a flatter surface here, that's gonna make it easier to do. For 
this, I am throwing in my one inch bit for the tubing notcher. This is gonna get a little bit more complicated trying to get this cut. So when I'm laying it in there, I'm gonna have to turn it to try and get the right cut for it. Gave myself plenty to make sure I'm doing it right. So we'll lay this in here. May have to massage it some, but I think that's good. You guys are like screaming at the camera take the wheel off now didn't want to do that just because it was when I took everything out of the jig it sprung in real hard and I had to pull it apart to get the wheel on this making sure that it's on with the wheel will allow this back end to stay where it needs to be so if anybody else gets the frame and decides that they want to do like a Nexus 3 speed they won't have an issue because this hub has a lot of extra spacing on it too make it work. So all I got to do now is we're going to take that on. Fitment is on there. It's perfect. It's in the same size. What it'll allow me to do also is when I put the fender on, it'll allow me to bolt the fender to, the, I'm going to bolt the fender to the frame down there and then a spacer on the top. And that will bring, cause you can see, I like to bring mine. I want that fender right up on that tire, not touching, but, but close. All right. We got to get in here. I uh, take welded the seat bracket on but it did burn through, so we gotta get in here and grind that out so I can get the seat post on. I'm gonna TIG weld that on. I need to get the coaster brake done, and then we can go ahead and start putting this thing together, take it for a quick test ride. Uh, we're gonna worry about the fender later.
go guys, so we got some work in today. Forks on, handlebars are on, seats roughly. That's not the seat we're gonna keep, that's just a test version seat. Gotta order that. So just gonna see how, where I like it. Maybe even if I don't like placement here just for someone who's only 5'10", this is still a pretty tight frame unless you pull the seat way up and then, which we won't have the ability to do because this is a little shorter than it used to be. Not a lot shorter, but a little bit. It could still come up quite a bit more and still be inside the frame, so it's safe. But I may do a bent seat post. That way we can bring the seat back a little bit more, make it a little bit more comfortable for anybody who's 5'10", 5'11", or six foot. Wheels on, everything's done here. Tigged, crank is on. Crank's gonna get powder coated with the rest of the frame. Fork's gonna get powder coated. I've got some ideas that I wanna do for the springs and, and you know we're gonna do some cool stuff here. It's gonna get rid of most of the chrome. Got a skinnier front wheel down here that's gonna go on it. It's a 26 and a half, I think. 26 by by 2.5 roughly I think so anyway that'll go here we don't have a whole lot of room so we can't run a real big wide wheel up front I'm gonna give it that like bobber vibe which is what I like nice tucked in close frame uh, got the fender over there we're gonna mock that up that's gonna be a mock-up fender other fenders on its way along with a bunch of other goodies we're gonna call it a night though. I'm gonna go to dinner with the family get back on this tomorrow and maybe even take it a test ride tomorrow we'll see all right it is the next day but i went ahead and i threw the bike together i wanted to get an idea where we were and i think it's looking pretty good i do need to go take it for a test drive but what i want to do first is go ahead and get the kickstand on while i have it ready to go looks pretty good i'm very happy with it you can see we want a little bit skinnier wheel in the front, a little bit thicker in the back to give it that uh, tight bobber look. The fender's gonna look really good on there too. And it actually has sat on it, it's pretty comfortable. It's gonna be a nice rider. It's not super duper low to the ground. Uh, it even has a little bit of an up rake, so it'll give it some suspension travel. So if you ever did need to use the suspension, you're not gonna bottom out. It would actually level the bike out. Also, if you ever were to hit anything, uh, it would allow it to bring you up on it instead of you hitting it dead on. So I like where it's sitting. Uh, I may try to come down a little bit more uh, just to level it almost. Um, I don't like it too much, but not a whole lot I can do as far as the way the springs are. We also need to make a headlight uh, mounting bracket. I don't know how I'm gonna do that just yet. I was thinking I could come off. If I had something that I could come off of here, and then the headlight could sit. I need to be pretty thick and maybe make it a bolt-on so it slides in and bolts onto here. I was thinking about something that came off of here and came down, but trying to make something center would maybe too difficult to really mess with. So yeah, that'll be later on because we still need to order the headlight and get that in. But it is sitting pretty good. I'm pretty, pretty happy with it. Hope you guys are digging it. And we still got to get onto that tank plate, but let's knock out the kick stand real quick. Thank <laughs> you. 
There it is. I think she's looking super sick. Kickstand is perfect. We're gonna get that powder coated though. I'm gonna get rid of as much chrome as I can, but you see that nice clearance, easy. She's not falling over. Let's go take her for a ride. So it is super easy to ride, but the back tire will not bead. So that's the noise you hear. Yeah, that's that. It won't bead, so I figured screw it. We're gonna take it on a ride anyway, just to see how it feels. So far, so good. Yeah, but she rides really, really smooth. Like, and it's really easy because this bike is pretty light. So it's not real heavy, not real hard to ride. That back tire is gonna kill me. So easy to turn, easy to ride. That's what you want. Great ground clearance. So no issues there. The bars I'm probably gonna pull a little bit more forward so I'm not so hunched over. It's fun to ride this way, but it's not comfortable after a while. Start hurting your back if you're older. All right, let's go put this away. So tomorrow we break it down and start on the tank plate. Uh, it's gonna go ahead, like I said, I've got the aluminum sitting there. Got just enough to, it's underneath there. I'm not getting it. We got just enough to make the tank. So we're gonna do some devil dies. We're gonna go big to small. And then I'm gonna put something behind those, but you'll have to wait and see, because we gotta go pick some of that up. Anyway, calling it a night on this one. Get back on it tomorrow, break it down. Should be able to finish it, or at least get it completely done before powder coat in this episode. Let's call it a night. See you tomorrow. All right guys, new day, and hopefully last day of fab work. Let me show you what I picked up yesterday to get this tank ready to go. You got it. We're gonna be adding some brass. Some brass for that ass. Yeah, anyway. I even got brass spikes. We're gonna polish these up because this is what happens to brass when it, uh, you know, gets dull or it doesn't get clear coated over. So we've got brass for the fork. We got brass for the uh, wheel studs, seat. We got all that. Just need to polish it, but we'll do that later. Right now, we've got to get this cut out. This is gonna get cut out of the aluminum. That's gonna go behind the dimple dies then hopefully we should be getting done with the fabrication of it. I think I want to add a piece here too. Uh, one little dimple die there, the aluminum will fit in there and then a dimple die will go behind it. That way it ties it in with the tank. And then all we got left to do, work on that fender. And I think she's ready to go off to powder. I do got another wheel coming. I decided I wanted to go a little bit wider. This is a two inch wide wheel. I'm gonna run a 26 by 2.5. So it just gives us a little, another half inch wider, but it just looks better. There's not enough stretch in the tire for me. It kind of just looks weird. So we're gonna do that. And then we need to break it down to get everything because everything's getting powdered. There will be no chrome left. You'll have to wait and see on the color. Let's get cut in aluminum because I love it so much.
done, the not so fun part. Good to go. We do need to go ahead and start the dimple die. What we're gonna do, they fit in there perfectly. It's only going to mount here, here, and here. Uh, they'll have a, it'll have a hang down on both sides. So it'll have probably a tab. I find the easiest way to do it is to run a tab across from here to here and then put a rib nut there and then do a little one off and then another little one off. Only gonna be three. And then we've got some cool washers over here that we're gonna use. We're gonna use these for the hold them on. These are gonna hold the brass to the dimples. Uh, we're just waiting for some brass uh, bolts for that. So those should be in hopefully today. Anyway, I need to go ahead and go ahead and start the dimple die process. This should be about the same size, yeah. There we go, cool. So I'll start the dimple dies and then figure out how we're gonna mount it to this. Uh, probably gonna have to break everything down because I need to lay the frame down on the table so that I can mount or get those little tabs made and get those ready. I really didn't want to break it down yet just yet, but might as well go ahead and do it. All right, you've seen me dimple die this before, so real quick. And that, now, and there, now we're done. I am gonna go reverse dimple dies instead of regular dimple dies. Changed my mind. I think it's looking to look better with the brass behind it. Uh, one thing when you're trying to put something behind the dimple die is you have all this surface to, uh, you have a gap and it basically pulls it. I think it'll look super cool just having the brass behind it. So right now what we need to do is figure out where we're gonna make the holes for the mounting tabs, start making the mounting tabs, Let's get the brass cut first to lay behind there, and then we're gonna see how it looks before I get into all that. super digging that I really like. I love a reverse dimple die. Don't know why, but I love the way that that's gonna look. Still need to add the back piece, but we're gonna call it on this one for this week because the video's getting kind of long and I need to get it edited and get it out. So I know I wanna get finished with this as soon as possible because I'd like to maybe get it up on a raffle. Like I said, you need to comment below. Let me know if a raffle is something you guys would be interested in and we can make this happen. Still trying to work out the details on how we're going to do it. I have an idea, so stay tuned. 
guys make sure you're following and subscribing along to see this get finished. And if this is something that you guys might want, I think a raffle would be super cool. So comment below and let me know. Also comment below, let me know what you're thinking of the build. Are you guys digging the tank, the dimple dies, the uh, brass? Those are not, those screw heads are not gonna be what's kept there. So anyway, we will get on the next episode. Uh, the brass bolts that I ordered should be in so that we can do the washers. I need to make the mounts for the tank. I need to make the little back plate that I wanna make. It's gonna be something back here. We need to make the tank mount. So we've got plenty to do and I, too much I can't get it done here. I'm also, I did order a triple tree. We're gonna put the triple tree on and see which one we like better and I'm gonna let you guys decide before it goes off to powder. I like the fork. I do not like how it's sitting. It just sits too high up in the front and I don't like it. I want it more level to the ground and I feel like the wheel is really close. I don't know why but I feel like it's too close here. So it's almost like we need a bracket to bring it out. And I, I'm, I'm not doing all that. I don't know, you guys let me know. I think with the triple tree, the headlight's easier, everything's easier, and I think it'll look better, but I haven't done the Springer fork. I usually don't do them because I'm not a super big fan of how they look. So either way, you guys can let me know how you wanna do it before it goes off to powder. Again, hope you guys had a great Thanksgiving which is what today is, which is not the same day that it's being recorded or out to you guys, that's just like December. Anyway, like, comment, subscribe guys, stay tuned for more. Make sure you hit up the website, help me out. I need to get some of these shirts going. I've got a lot, they're not really selling. And that's the only way I'm gonna keep being able to do this or there won't be a channel anymore. So help me out guys. If you've been thinking about wanting to get a shirt, please jump on the site, pick yourself up one. I'll get it shipped out ASAP. All right. Y'all have a great holiday, and I will see you next weekend.